I'm going to go through the creation of the 1 8 inch D shaft skirted knob. And I know I said I'd be moving into Fusion 360, but I, uh, for some reason, it just came to me and I finished it off in Tinkercad. So I've done the knob two ways. I've done one with the set screw in the back of the D and one with the set screw on the front of the D. And I'm just examining the one with the screw in the back. This is the one I actually finally used in my project. But on my uh, on my Thingiverse page, I've included the uh, files to do both of them. And uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll go in reverse order in how I created this. So here is the cutaway for the the uh, D shaft, the nut, and the uh, the line for the indicator. So I'll turn it this way. So you can see that's the slot that you put the nut in. This is where the bolt goes through. This is where the shaft of the potentiometer comes up. Yes, I had to make these pieces here, and it's it's. Uh, Let's ungroup this here to show you what it is. There, how's that? Over here is the indicator line for the knob. To make the indicator line, I took a box and uh, as a whole. And then I uh, took a copy of the finished knob and turned it into a hole. And you can see where I actually cut out the knob. Okay. So once I did that, so I, I take that and group them. Okay. And then what I did was I reduced the size of this a little bit. And that way it cut an equal proportion of the line from the top and the bottom and the side. Okay, the, the knob itself, and I'll uh, ungroup that. So the first piece is the indentation in the top of the knob. So we'll just slide that up. Do another ungroup. Okay, the next ungroup is the uh, the contour on the top of the knob. I took the uh, paraboloid and I cut out from this from a, uh, a cylinder. There, turning it into a uh, hole. Then combining it with a cylinder, and then. drop it on top of the knob to the point I want it to be. Put there. And uh, group them. And I get the nice curved surface. Do another ungroup is the skirt on the on the bottom. See, I used a cone to create that. Now the last piece is the body of the knob. Now you notice that I've cut seven uh, flutes into this knob. So that means I had to rotate around the circle 51.4 degrees at a time. So how do you cut around a circle 50 1.4 degrees. What I started with was I started with the uh, just a cylinder and uh, two flutes which I'm going to uh, align here. So I'll, I'll get everything centered. Okay. And then I will group the two holes. 
group them. And then I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to take this first one and rotate it, because I have them grouped across the axis equally. Uh, when they rotate, they will rotate on, the, on that same axis. So here I'm taking the 51.428, and then uh, that looks good. And then I uh, ungroup that. And I delete one, turn the other one into a hole, and then I paste, and align. I can do this point as I have to do the first one, so I'll, I'll just ungroup that now, and uh, delete that, turn that into a hole, and then paste, that right around uh, seven times and that's how uh, you create the uh, the barrel and then we're just left with a basic cylinder so, those are all the components I used to create the knob.